Wichita is the center of Kansas and America, and it shows. The weather is unpredictable, and so are the people. Set in a gentle river valley between tall grass prairie and high plains, Wichita has an urban look and a country feel. Wichitans are proud of Wichita and feel sorry for people anywhere else. Taking pride in Wichita, a special place to be. Building for tomorrow, making history. Growing up together, stronger every day. Taking pride in Wichita, believing all the way. Being part of something, knowing what it means. Sharing in the future of the great American dream. for the sky Now we're taking pride in Wichita A special place to be Building for tomorrow Making history Growing up together Stronger every day Taking pride Wichita was always a center of trade. The western hunting lodges of the Osage did business with remote tribes at the forks of the Arkansas. The Osage Treaty of 1865 opened the country to white settlement. As hunters and traders arrived, only the grass huts of the Wichita Indians and roaming buffalo, elk, and wolves occupied the site of Wichita Town. The newcomers quickly changed that. A dugout fort and a stick and sod trading post arose. Jesse Chisholm laid out a trail south to the Indian agencies. A few Texas Longhorns started to use it, and the foundations of a future were laid. Oh 
an editor called Wichita Spell created a magic city. Dealmakers brought in a railroad in 1872. The cattle trade arrived after Wichita's four horsemen bribed drovers headed somewhere else. The city eliminated local taxes through fees on vice. Wichita was alert and hustling. She responded to a flood in Ohio in 1884 with a grasshopper train full of corn and painted with scenes showing how things had changed since the hopper invasion of 74. At each stop, people wondered what elixir kept Wichita so alive. There's no better place to be We're proud to be part of A growing family Our future's looking bright With the flame of hope ablaze I can't wait till tomorrow We're getting better The Wichita boom of the 1880s was famous. Wichita was the fastest growing city in the U.S. and called itself the athletic Ajax of the Aboundful Arkansas and the magical mascot of the Meridian. Jealous rivals admitted the cash value of boosterism. Population increased from 5,000 in 1880 to 40,000 in 1887. There came a dark side in the bust of the 1890s when the town lost one-third of its population and mansions went to weeds. But even that was a lesson making 20th century Wichita depression proof.
20th century Wichita was in business again. W.C. Coleman's lamp was a world phenomenon. The Jones 6 car sold a few copies. A.A. A. Hyde's mentholatum was standard for American medicine chests. Wichita was the tractor capital, the broom corn capital, and then the air capital of the world. Oil money from nearby El Dorado funded the E.M. Laird Airplane Company in 1920 and filled the first 10-story office buildings downtown. Then followed Beechcraft, Cessna, Mooney, and Stearman. In 1929, Wichita had 16 aircraft plants and produced 26% of the commercial aircraft in the U.S. It responded to the Depression with two classic planes, the Cessna Airmaster and the Beach Stagger Wing. The city slogan was, Watch Wichita Win. Hello, Wichita. Nation reminded Wichita in her 1900 saloon raid that there was more to urban success than business. The city had a major cocaine problem and a corrupt political administration, but change was rapid. In 1909, Wichita was one of the first cities to adopt the city commission form of government, and in 1917 pioneered the city manager system. Other innovations were the creation of the White Way of Downtown Lighting and Maintenance in 1908 the elevation of the Douglas Avenue tracks in 1914, and implementation of zoning and planning in 1922 and 23. In the 1950s and 1960s, steps were taken to upgrade the water supply and to desegregate housing. And in 1962, Wichita was honored by Look Magazine as an all-American city for its quality of life. Wichita, Kansas, she's your town. Treat her right, don't ever let her down. Stand beside her through thick and thin. Just let her know she can trust you like a friend. Let her know 
World War II was a watershed for Wichita. The population went from 100,000 to 200,000 in five years, and Boeing Wichita employed 30,000. Wichita ran all night and developed daycare and shopping centers. Fulton Lewis Jr. called it America's newest and most virile industrial city. The city emerged from the war with a fine art museum and notable symphony. The air plants built furniture and even Buckminster Fuller's Dymaxion House before returning to the business that made Wichita the Detroit of the small plane age. Bill Lear added his executive jet to Wichita's list in the 1960s and the Carney brothers created Pizza Hut here. Friendly lights of my hometown Feel the dark for miles around Such a welcome sight for me to see Set against a starry sky Just like diamonds in the night Reflecting all the pride in Tall skyline shining on these dreams of mine. Together, we'll make them all come true. Oh, my Wichita skyline. No matter where I go, I find your lights always lead me home. Magic in the air, smiling faces everywhere. The perfect place to raise a family. Oh, my Wichita skyline, shining on these dreams of mine. Together, we'll make them all come true. Tall skyline. No matter where I go, I find your lights always lead me home to you. Growing bigger every day, you still kept your small town ways. A hello. Tall skyline shining on these dreams of mine. Together, we'll make them all come true. Oh, my Wichita skyline. No matter where I go, I find your lights always lead me home. Wichita is noted for verve more than elegance. It's been a place where the dreams of individuals are distilled and projects implemented. It's nurtured such varied people as novelist Paul Wellman, silver screen star Louise Brooks, Myler Jim Ryan, artist John Noble, and TV hero Don Johnson. It's still the only place where the final S in Arkansas is pronounced. It looks to the future with the tools of its past. Originally, the town name was pronounced Wichita with a wish, not a witch. 
A 1960s mayor said, we'll make Wichita a kite that can fly over any field. A reporter from Boston stopping in booming Wichita of the 1880s asked, what keeps this place going? The answer from a man on the street was, confidence, man, confidence. Cap town on a dusty cattle trail, a farm, a store, a church, a schoolhouse, and a jail. In the valley where the river flows, a river city grows. Throughout the years, she went by many different names. The Banner City, peerless princess of the plains, the new Chicago. Nothing says it quite like Wichita And no matter where I roam Nothing says it quite like Wichita Wichita says home The city prospered and the corn and wheat grew high Soon other pioneers came reaching for the sky Men of vision with their dreams of flight The time and place were right And though the times have changed The spirit still remains Now super highways stretch across the fertile plains Out on the prairie standing proud and tall And one name says it all Nothing says quite like Wichita and no matter where I roam nothing says it quite like Wichita Wichita says home I've seen this country from Fort Lauderdale to Nome there is no other place I'd rather call my home and there is nowhere else I'd rather just says home to me I've seen this city grow through laughter and through tears but still it's nice to know that somehow through the years this river city under spacious skies is a sight for tired eyes I may grow restless and for travel I may yearn Though I may wander, I seem destined to return Because to me, wherever I may roam Wichita says home Nothing says it quite like Wichita And no matter where I roam Nothing says it quite like Wichita Wichita says home Nothing says it quite like Wichita And no matter where I roam Nothing says it quite like Wichita 